Hey guys, this is Clever Coding and this is the third video of the series, the ongoing series of C++. So this is the third video and in this video we're going to go and think and uh, start working on our arithmetic operations and other kind of operations we could do in Dev C++. In the previous video, as a recap, we could remind that we were discussing about the data types, the common ones like integer and float and other data types that we are often going to get our heads into later on in this course. So before getting things started, as always, you always need to include your IO stream. Then you got to always write your namespace standard. And then int main. This is that container we've been talking about. Okay, so now, for instance, we have int number one and I give it a hundred and then I could say int number two and I could give that a 200 so we could use this as a calculator too uh, that we could just print out the result using num1 and then plus num2 and then giving that insertion operation and then control s and then we're gonna have to save it so I go back and I'm gonna open up my my desktop where I'm gonna get my folder where's my C++ folder and over here we're gonna save it as code 4 so once I saved it I could go in the execute button and compile and run and you're gonna see the answer 100 plus 200 which is the terminal screen 300 awesome so we just got our things ready so we I just uh I did this explicitly. I could also define another variable called int sum, and inside I could just put the num1 plus num2, and then after that, just console output the sum, and that is a better way to get your answer. Okay, so by saving this and then executing, you're gonna see the same exact result, but it's a better efficient way. Okay, now after sum, we could get product. So by getting product, I'm going to write put product over here. And over here, we're just going to have to change the sign to multiply. And this asterisk sign is the multiplication symbol in programming. And then we write PRO over here and save it. And then execute, compile, and run. There you go. You got a 20,000 answer. Okay, so now after that, we start subtracting. So if I put num1 minus num2, I know it's going to be a negative number. So First trying num1, num2 minus num1, the greater number being first. And if I execute this and compile and run, you're going to see 100 as expected. And if I do num1 minus num2, you're going to see the negative sign by saving and executing. And then you're going to see minus 100. Okay, so that works. Also division by changing this to div. You don't necessarily have to change the variable name, the what uh, so-called identifier, but I'm just doing it for the sake of just simplicity. Div and then execute, compile and run, and there you go. There's a zero. Why num1 divided by two, 200 doesn't give a proper insert because uh, this concept applies when you're dealing with integers, and integers always result in whole numbers. So I know that I got a zero and that basically isn't the answer, but I want the answer. So I changed the data type to float, F-L-O-A-T. And you're going to see this one as F-L-O-A-T. And then you're going to see this one as F-L-O-A-T. Now, if I save this and execute now, you're going to see the answer properly displaying, which was 0 0.5. Awesome. So integers are basically the whole numbers after the decimal point is ignored but if you want that decimal point you're gonna have to include as a you're gonna have to change your data type into a float or into a double okay without with all that said now we're gonna go and further we're gonna build a calculator simple calculator this is our first project and we're gonna build a simple calculator so first of all we're gonna uh, tell you how to get input instructions from the user. So if I give C out, enter two numbers, uh, TW numbers, and if I uh, display this, and this end line indicates the cursor moving to the next line of the terminal. 
and then the semicolon obviously at the end and when I say enter two numbers now the now I'm gonna do C in now C in okay now I don't have any variable de declared right now but I'm so I'm gonna declare number one uh, and initialize it as zero just for the safe side because if I don't initialize it it's gonna have a garbage value stored into it and the garbage value could be any kind of memory location uh, the computer just finds and just stores it in for initial purposes but to remove that uh, that that complexity we just uh, initialize it with zeros so now after that we input number one and then a semicolon and then we say C in input number two okay we could also do this in one line by not writing this and just doing number one and number two and when you uh, press the enter key you're gonna be promoted to writing the next one and now when we enter two numbers which were gonna be entered now you could like give the answer to we're gonna write and command the addition so we gonna write addition and then we could give end line and then we could give the result of the addition by giving explicitly num1 plus num2 or we could give it a variable by declaring a variable which I think is better to do so we're gonna have sum and that's gonna be num1 what we just did and num2 and then we could have the other one which is subtraction and we could have uh yeah one minute one thing is over here is that we have to do this afterwards so we're gonna cross this and we're gonna do it right here so we're gonna paste this over here control v and so subtraction is gonna be num one minus num two and then uh the multiplication we we'll call it mult is equal to num one multiplied by num two and then we can have that division we could call it div and we could call it num1 divided by that forward slash num2 uh, okay now so we have that uh, addition so we write the sum over here the sum variable and then end line okay so I want to skip a little line so I just I could also use this escape sequence backslash n. this also means end line you could either write backslash n or you could also write end line what's up uh, you could write end line it's up to you but that's shorter so people uh, so consider that better so next after that you have console output subtraction subtraction and we could write see how sub Well, one minute. Okay, so now we're gonna have subtraction, and then we're gonna give the console alpha backslash n what we needed, and then we're gonna have uh, the subtraction, the multiplication, and then we're gonna write mult. And notice I'm doing backslash n's all uh, this n line everywhere. And so that the output will be displayed really pretty. So after that, we have the last one, which is the division. So we're gonna call it D-I-V-I-S-I-O-N. And, and line, and then we're gonna say div. Okay, so after this, we could just give a backslash in. And over here, we missed one backslash in right here. So backslash and okay now that we wrote all of this we save this and we go to our execute button and compile and run and you're gonna see that the com computer is gonna ask us two numbers so for instance if I give one of my favorite numbers 10 and if I give another number say 25 you're gonna have the answers first the addition the 35 subtraction minus 15 multiplication 250 and the division which is zero which in this case is not right and not accurate so Making this calculator even better, we could just declare our variables into floats. Yeah, you guessed it, right? Floats. So we declare float1 and float num1 and num2 as float1 and uh, float2. And then after that, we could get the results as float2 uh, float and float and save this. Execute. One minute, one minute. I just pressed that button. Okay, save, execute, compile, and run. And then we were 10, and then enter key 
25 and there you go that's better so that was it with this video in the next video we'll dive into conditionals in c plus plus if statements and all these fun stuff so stick around and see you in the next video